Hello everyone. It's been a long time since I published a video and the reason is that I have been busy with my book on fast text. This is the Amazon page for the book. In case you work in natural language processing, do check out the book. It's on this amazing library called fast text, which is basically a library for efficient text classification and creating word embeddings. Now to get on with the subject of the video. I have recently started looking into Spark and Scala. So here I'm using the Apache Tori Scala, which is the Jupyter Notebook uh, for uh, working with Scala and Spark. In Scala, we also we have the option of having our data as data frames. I'm sure many of you guys know what are data frames and how easy it is to think about data in the context of data frames. Data frames though as a concept started in R and other statistics software. Now Spark primarily deals in data in the RDD and Parquet format. You may want to convert your data structures to data frames. In that case we are going to see two methods how we can do that. I have a file called sentiment analysis which you can see here the headers of the file are item id sentiment and sentiment text item id is an integer sentiment item id and in, uh, sentiments are integers and sentiment text are strings so uh, the first line are the headers as you can see and the remaining lines are individual records now to read this file i can create a file immutable file variable which takes from text file and I am passing the name of the file so since this file has headers I would like to remove the header which I can do like this which means take away the header and then I can filter it out where row translates to such when it's not a header okay now that i have this my file is prepped and hence i can do file to data frame which is basically a file a mapping i will split each record by uh, the comma I'm splitting by comma because as you can see here my delimiters are comma we and then I will take each record as an array sequence each I will convert since my a first value is integer second value is also integer but I will not and change the third value and then take it together and then I will convert it to a data frame where first value here is item id second value is sentiment and the third value is sentiment text correct now that i have this oops i need to take the three values 
uh, now it's processing and converting it into data frames now that I have the data frame I can do a file to df dot show let's show first five values and if you can see it's showing me the data frame this is my method one now the second method is Uh, for the second method which I feel is a little bit cleaner is using the spark.read.format method the advantage is that I can define a structure to do that I will first need to import the appropriate structure classes so I will do import org dot Apache dot spark dot sql dot types dot I will import the string type struct type struct field and the integer type okay now comes the time of creating the schema so the schema structure is the struct type uh, yes struct type of struct field why is field not coming okay where I will say that item ID is integer type So it it must be there. So struct field my sentiment is also integer type while my sentiment text is a string type now this may not be there and hence I am saying that if it's not there then it's a nil now once this is done I can now create my data frame which is Spark dot read dot format. This is basically a CSV file where the header is present. Uh, I, as I said, I can pass the schema as well. My schema is the schema's schema struct. And then I can load the file
yep so i can see if the correct amount of data has been loaded this is it guys like and share if you like the video do let me know in the comments which method you like better thank you